Kong Skull Island is directed by Jordan Vogt Roberts and stars Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, Samuel L. Jackson, John C. Riley, and a few other people. In this film, we have a team of scientists along with their military escort mapping a newly found island. They quickly discover that this now named Skull Island is home to a host of dangerous creatures, including an enormous ape named Kong. Now normally what I do is I give the positives of the movie, then I tell you what I don't like about it, but I'm gonna do the opposite for this because this film was pretty disappointing. By far this movie's biggest flaw is his lack of interesting characters, and when you have a cast full of talent like this movie has, the only thing at fault is really the writing. These characters are so poorly written and the movie makes no attempt to develop them that you don't really care what happens to them. Take Brie Larson's character for example, who's basically in this movie because she's nice to look at. All you really learn about her is that she's a photographer. That's about it, and that's the way it is for almost all the characters, except for John C. Riley's character, who you learn most about the island from him and his story. The editing's pretty shoddy and quick as well. Me personally, I like tight editing, but this is a bad example of that. To me, it felt like there was 15 minutes worth of stuff missing that could have potentially made the movie flow better. No spoilers because you see it in the trailer, but after Kong takes down the helicopters, it cuts to Hiddleston and Larson's characters, and they're walking around outside the wreck like nothing even happened. It was cuts like that that really bothered me. It would have benefited the story had they showed them struggling with the crash, but the film was so quick to move on to the next thing that there was no time to reflect or engage with the characters, and it did that all the time. There's a scene where somebody gets swept away by a killer bird, and literally the next line is, uh, he's gone, let's go. Even though this was a bit of a letdown, it still has some redeeming qualities. When Kong is on screen doing his thing, it's actually pretty cool to watch. There are some really cool action sequences with Kong, especially in the third act, and there are some impressive visuals too. There are a few shots of Kong with the sun behind him that I thought were done pretty well. If this movie was more focused on Kong and less on the humans, I think it would have been better because like I said, when Kong is on screen, he's great. Unfortunately, the film has the same fatal flaw as the Transformers and Ninja Turtles movies. Once you get away from the animated characters, the movie doesn't hold up as well. So really what the film ends up doing is following a bunch of boring characters around and hoping to convince you that it's a good film by giving you a handful of scenes with Kong wrecking shit. The action scenes also have this overuse of slow motion to help sell their epicness. It does work in a few places, but after a while it gets pretty old. There's even a scene with Hiddleston cutting down attacking birds that looks like it came straight out of 300. So at the end of the day, if I had nothing better to do and I came across this movie on TV, I'd watch it so I could see King Kong in action. But the poor writing and the hollow characters really dragged this film down. And really this movie only exists so that there could be a shared cinematic universe where King Kong and Godzilla can eventually fight. So I'm giving Kong Skull Island two and a half out of five stars. Before I move on, I want to let you know this video is brought to you by MoviePass. MoviePass is a premier theatrical subscription service that allows you to see a movie every 24 hours for a flat monthly fee. Accepted over 93% of theaters nationwide, MoviePass offers several types of plans ranging from annual contract to month to month. So sign up today by following the link in the description. So Kong Skull Island, have you seen it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Consider following me on social media. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more movie reviews as well as various other videos I do on this channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, you can click right here and see more videos. Bye, Andrew.